Hi and welcome to our short video presentation on violence in schools. What can you do to ensure your staff are protected according to guidance? My name is Nick Davis and I'll be taking you through this brief presentation about what you can do to ensure your staff are properly trained and prepared to deal with violence in the school workplace. Now, violence in schools is an unfortunate reality and if you are involved in the running of a school, whether in the capacity of a head teacher, deputy head or other member of the senior management team, or even the role of a school governor, then you, your staff and pupils or students are more than likely to be subjected or dealing with the consequences of some form of violence at some point, whether it be from pupils, students or even parents and other members of the public. Now this can certainly make your job and that of your staff even more difficult than it already is. Let's just look at some figures. In 2012-2013, assaults on school staff in the UK averaged 93 a day. Now this was from a total of 17,680 reported assaults. It was also reported in 2013 that 40 teachers were being attacked every day in primary schools. Then of course there was the tragic case of Anne McGuire in June 2014. Now although this was an extreme case, the likes of which happens infrequently, the possibility of knives or other weapons being used remains an all too present danger. Take for instance the more recent case of supply teacher Vincent Azoma, who was stabbed in class in a school in Bradford. So how did this affect you and your school? Well as a head teacher or educational senior manager you have a legal responsibility to your staff as well as your pupils and students to provide a safe working environment. Effectively that responsibility lies with you as an employer alongside your other obligations as an educational provider where you have a duty of care. So in effect this comes from health and safety legislation and especially if you are a provider of state education the Human Rights Act. So this is very important. So what can you do? Well this is where the Department of Education guidance on the use of reasonable force in schools comes in. If you've not heard of this before then what we're referring to is the DOE's guidance document entitled Use of Reasonable Force which came out in July 2013. But what exactly does the guidance say? And how can you implement it? Well as experts in the field of positive intervention we want to assist you in understanding what it's all about. That's why we're offering a free talk to you that explains the three key points of the guidance and how you can use them to help reduce the risks to your staff in particular when having to deal with violent confrontations and using restraint in school both during and post incident. Now this talk is completely free with no obligations and will happily answer all the questions you feel you need to ask. So to book your free presentation just enter your name, email and convenient contact number in the boxes below and hit the send button. Someone will be in touch with you very soon to arrange a suitable time and place at your convenience. Finally thank you very much for listening and we look forward to speaking to you very soon.